y'all, Jim Panky here with, uh, it's a banjo hack. It's just a hack. And because it's a hack, you really don't have to know much. Yeah, I know. We're doing Reuben. And I am in... I'm in the key of D. I'm tuned to D. So F sharp, uh, D, F sharp, A, D. D tuning. That's where we learned Reuben. I, I, I have a video for that. <laughs> you can go watch it. But there's a lot of things we do in D tuning. But one of the things we rarely ever think about when we go to a different tuning is what, what are my up the neck chords and how can I vamp if I need to? Because well, let's face it, Ruben's a popular tune and it's gonna come up in jam sessions a lot. And a mandolin player is gonna wanna play that song and he's gonna wanna chop. Or he may be doing fills while somebody sings and you're gonna need to vamp. That means you're gonna have to figure out some new chord shapes or, or hear me out. You could cheat. Let's cheat. Let's figure out a hack, something that we can do where we don't really have to learn anything new. There, there's, 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 there, this is full. There's a lot in there already. And I'm kind of at a point where I don't want to try to put anything else in there because if I do, I might forget something. And, and that's real. Uh, but so wh what can we do? I'm going to tell you a secret. We've been holding out on you, banjo players. Some of us teachers, we've been holding out on you. And we haven't told you everything. <laughs> and maybe I haven't told you this because it is kind of dumb, but I want you to look at this. I want you to look at this. So ha have you done my, have you done my chord shape videos? You know, all the major chords, all the minor chords, all of that. Have you, have you done that? If not, definitely go check those out. But what I want you to think about is how your banjo is tuned. It, it's a relationship. So, you know, back in the beginning, I talked about tuning and you didn't really have to be in tune with anybody. You just be in tune with yourself. You know, strings have a relationship to each other. You can just, just relative tuning. And, and we've talked about that. I, I talk about it in a couple of my other tuning videos. And, and it's definitely something to think about. And we're gonna use that idea here. If, if I ignore my first string, I'm gonna pretend like that first string is not on this banjo. I'm going to build, you remember, so like you remember the, you remember this F shape chord? All right, you, you remember that. If I were to take that and move it over a set of strings, okay, now I don't have a string for my, for my, uh, what that that's my ring finger. <laughs> I don't have a string for that one, so I just ignore it. I have moved that over. Guess what that is? That's a D chord. Kinda of, sorta. Of. So that that's a D. So is that. That's that that's that diagonal shape that we that we play like, you know, that D shape. Same shape. We're we're just we're we're just moving over a set of strings. Don't put a lot of brain power into it. We, we just we took a shape we already knew, and we moved it over a set of strings. We're ignoring the first string. We're pretending like it's not even there. We're not even going to play it. If you hit it by accident, hit it open. It'll be okay. If you somehow mute it and hit it, that's okay too totally all right so if that's all right then we can shift to that one so we can does that make sense does it uh, I might, I, I'll figure out how to put up a picture of it to show you what I'm doing there uh, so if that's D. What is that? That 
That's also D. We swap the top. That's our four chord. So that's one. What's our four chord for D? D, E, F, G. So that's a G. And this, slide it up, is our A. So that's our D, G, A. Does that make sense? I mean, if you got really clever and you said, if I'm just going to ignore my first string, then it, it, other things you know kind of work. with that I'm not telling you to but I'm saying it could happen but by simply moving over taking the shape that you know that's your one we move it over here now it's our one it's our one in D D but those are are the shapes that I use when I vamp I'm hoping this is something that's helpful. And no, I don't have a script for this. Y'all know I, I'm just throwing this out here for you. So when you are tuned to D, you can move those shapes that you already know toward the ceiling, one set of strings. So you're gonna go up a set of strings, ignore the first string, you're kind of ignoring the fifth string. And you can even lay a finger down to where it kind of mutes that first string. You don't even have to think about it. If you wanted to sort it out, that anything on the fourth string, you can put that on the first string. That, that builds that whole chord. I'm not telling you that you need to do that. I don't do that. I know that that's how it works, but you, you don't have to, especially if you're just vamping. You, you don't have to add that extra note, unless you just want it. And now you know, any like I say, anything that's on the fourth, you just copy it across to the first string. So like in uh, that shape, that D shape, you can just lay that whole finger down. But don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I'm just telling you, in case you wanted to know, that's how you do it. Folks, I hope this was helpful. This was kind of, uh, unhinged, but I, I, I hope you, in, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And, uh, oh, the banjo for today is, a uh, Recording King, RK75 Elite. Brand new to me. Look at it. Shiny. All right, folks. We'll see you next time. Hey, have you, uh, hit the like button yet? Hit the like, hit, do it. And uh, leave a comment and, and maybe subscribe. If you want to get notifications, ring the bell. Thanks.